I had some questions on which Sawzall blade I used for my Sawzall. So it's a Diablo. And I used the, the wood one and nail embedded. Seems to work the best. It's got the double teeth there and it really rips her. And uh, comes in a nice kit. And then in here, I just store all my other ones. Uh, basically, just use this one for cutting up animals pretty much all around. I use it. This, it's about, uh, I don't know, three years old and still cutting good. I'll show you guys what I do for ribbons here, how to keep them from unrolling. I got a brand new roll of ribbon. I'll just heat up this number nine wire and I'll drag it across here in four ways and i'll show you once it's done here we got a uh, little bit of work to do in the shop pull these out it's boxing day so we're gonna skin these coyotes up do those ones take these ones off the boards and put them on the rack had some company over at christmas time so we're looking at everybody's deer so they got all taken out and we got uh these coyotes there. We got a couple other deer in the shop now. We gotta do them up, get them ready, get them in the beetles. Nice dark one in the back. And it's a family that brings them to me every year, so I appreciate the work and they always get some nice deer. And they have a wall that they, they put them all up and I'll have to get them to send me a photo of it one day. There we go. So I got my workout uh, work cut out for me today. We'll get busy and uh, I'll show you that ribbon here in a second. More is better. Getting nice and red. There we go. So you come here. There you go. So you don't want to go too deep. If you go too deep, then it uh, actually breaks when it gets cold there. Just want to be enough. Just so it kind of melts the edges together. So when you unroll it, it uh, sticks together. So here's just a little demo. So you can hear it clicking. And it only unspools to the last spot. If you go too deep, then it tears there when it's cold. Especially on cheaper ribbon. But this stuff is good ribbon. And now I got some more material to work with for my new sets. Well, we put a shift in in the shop here. There was only five left to do. That rack's done. These ones are what we did there and they're drying. And this is looking full. I'm gonna have to get some more hangers or bag it up or put it in the other, other uh, shed there for some cold storage. It's coming together though. Flu has gone through the house here today. Uh, Blake was sick there last night, so Brandy was up on and off with him, and now she's not feeling well, so I kicked her out of here and kind of did my own little thing. But tomorrow, Blake and I are going to go for a coyote hunt and check snares. We checked a few there the other day, and we had nothing, but nothing was moving either, no sign, and... Uh, it is what it is. We'll see what happens. But a couple of nice coyotes, I think, tomorrow morning. I'll get up early and uh, get these done before we head out and check the line and do a couple of coyote sets. Catch you guys tomorrow. Well, we had a shrimp ring that was left over, so I get to smash that. And Brandy's in the kitchen there making some homemade turkey soup. We'll smash that later. Back to my shrimp. Nice morning out here on the strip. Sun's just coming up. 
Blake and I were trying some coyote calling, no avail. And uh, looks like I got a, a nice looking dog here. We'll have to uh, take a look and uh, bring it back to the shop. It looks nicely furred. I'm gonna pull some of these uh, snares here on the strip and uh, use them other places. But number one for today, and we'll see what else we get. Well, we're out at uh, one of the baits here where the bear was. And right there is where my snare is, the one that was leaned up against the log. Not much for activity here. This place has been a bit of a disappointment, actually. I think I'm going to give it another another week and then I'll pull out of here It'd take a few coyotes and and whatnot but could be better better places to go I'm sure it's warming up here so we'll see if that helps get things going again here or maybe I just got to find a, a different little spot I did get some coyotes going to that one uh, moose back end of the green feet there I uh, have to see what I just drove by, I could see there's tracks going in there. So I can see if they're on it, and then if they're on it, maybe I'll throw some of these snares there and just move things over. All right, we'll catch you at the next set. We got some coyote tracks here. Let's just see if we connected. Followed them all the way in. They're feeding on the bait over there. Over that way is where we missed that wolf. like they got a trail here and they just won't go down this one with a snare in it I don't know what's going on there and I have another one a snare at the end here Check her out. Nope, nothing. Looks like there's tracks that go up to it. And they just won't go through it. Alright, well it's time to play their game a little bit. And change things up. I'm not going to do it today. I'll do it uh, tomorrow when I get a bunch of bait loaded up. We'll go check out Glen's today. Finish skinning the coyotes. Yeah, they just take one step onto the, this trail and then they're done. Our snare where we had it catch the other day, still up. And it's just over here against that tree. Light dust and a snow in here, so there doesn't look like there's much for tracks here. Another snare over there is still up. They quit coming through here. And the snare here is up. And that other snare appears to be up. Alright. We'll just walk through here. And careful not to set her off. Oh, knocked her over. All right, well, I'll turn you back on. I'll go look at the bait here and see what's going on. We're over at Glen's here and just checking out some snares. I had a snare over here. It looks like it's missing. Let's see where it went.
right there. I'll brush it off and we'll take a look at it here. Another snare back over there. Nothing come that way. Well, uh, like I said, we'll remake this one and take a look. Hi, Brandy. Brandy's helping turn some coyotes there. So we got a couple started here. And uh, got the little pile there. These are the ones she's turning. I flushed these ones here. These will be the last coyotes for the year. And, and then after the new year, we'll start fresh again. Like you've seen, we picked up a couple today. Uh, I was gonna go out this afternoon and do some more sets and checking, but I think I got a touch of the flu. So I had to bed down there and try and sweat it out a bit. And right now fleshing, I'm uh, just pouring sweat here. So hopefully we don't get sick. We got some traveling to do here in the next couple of days. And then uh, get back and back to the grind. So it's looking pretty good in here. I was talking to some fur buyers yesterday, trying to see what the market's like and see where they'll be and all that fun stuff. Um, watching some YouTube, trying to learn how to hunt coyotes. Blake and I went out today and keep getting skunked. I think it's, it has to be the collar, the electric collar. So I have to buy a new one, I think. Right, Brandy? Yeah, Brandy says I can, so as long as I can catch a couple coyotes or shoot a couple coyotes, we'll be good. But uh, yeah, hopefully the new rams come in soon and we'll get those out. I'm going to go start setting up for some wolves uh, in an area there. And uh, tomorrow I'll see what it looks like where I set some stuff, some bait. And we'll go from there. We got a couple deer. This one came out of the... The beetles there looks pretty good, so I'm just gonna whiten it up with the other ones. And yeah, that's enough for the shop. I have to get back to work. So I got one of my Christmas presents there. A little hoodie, Northern Trapper to match my Duke. We're just uh, getting ready to do our business for the day. I took out uh, three coyotes there. They'll be ready in a couple of days, so when I get back, We'll uh, do them up real quick. I didn't want to give myself too much work. So three is nice and manageable. We got to turn these ones here and then get these ones off the boards and onto the rack. So, so I'm going to do kind of a bait day today. Maybe move some snares, see how things are going. Um, get some pigs out there. Bring my saws. Oh, I forgot that last time so I couldn't get a bunch of pigs out. And uh, yeah, not too cold today, minus seven right now. And we'll go make our tours and see what's going on. All right, we'll catch you in a bit here. Nice heavy trails in here, which I, I'm really liking. Over this way there, they go through a nice willow patch. I'll set that up soon. Over here, they've been just bedding down underneath the trees and and eating so this is our our pile of carcasses basically just coyotes and a wolf there took the wolf head off but uh yeah so they're coming in pretty good from this direction as well so once my new rams show up i'll set heavy in here for a week or two and clean it up there's some nice big tracks here so some nice big male dogs all right so we'll get going to the next spot well this might be the site of my new uh snare bait spot here nice uh, hill nice and thick over on this side and nice and thick on that side but hard to get in over there so what I think I'll do is just uh, hike over this way and throw some deer carcasses over and see what happens nice spot nice uh, big creek 
I know this is an old water line here and then on the other side the wolves and coyotes travel through there quite often and along the bottom here along the creek I've heard and seen them through the years so we'll try it out here we go there's the start of the bait a couple coyotes and a deer front I'm winded again out of shape well I'm in a shape but not a good one anyways we'll see what happens here we'll call this bait the valley how's that I think that's a fitting name come back here in a couple days and see what's going on had a couple other baits that I started last video I think and a couple coyotes hit that one but I'm still waiting for them to get a little bit busier before I go and put out my snares. There's wolves in the area there. Seen tracks in the road, but they didn't go into the bait. So I freshened it up with some more deer and then some coyote carcasses for the birds. And the last coyote carcasses I put in there really got hammered. And it looked like even a coyote was feeding on one of them there. So, all right, this is the start of the valley. And we gotta go make some miles. Well, at my wolf bait here. The meaning is set it up a little bit better, but I haven't. So I got a snare there that the kites have been ducking under. And then a snare just up there. The trail kind of blew in, so I walked it out and stomped her down. Have this pail with stink in it. And a few rags and stuff like that with uh, flesh and oil. There's another snare here. I'm not going to go too much further into it. Just because I don't want to disturb it. But I've got a string of snares there down an old game trail. They, they go down. And coyotes have been checking it out. And we've got a, another wolf coming through here checking it out. This is where we caught the one wolf that one day or I guess this tree here and uh, it's come back to check it out so there must have been two that time so we haven't done our loop yet on the farm to see but might have a wolf maybe time will tell all right we'll uh, let it be and keep saying I'm going to bring more snares here but haven't had time to sort through anything and today is kind of a drop off of the coyote carcasses and bait and kind of clean things up for New Year's. But again, this is how I like to snare my wolves and coyotes in nice tight areas like this. And I'll make some trails and then we'll go from there. All right, we'll catch you at the next set. While we were just doing a, a loop here and Looked into the forest. And we got ourselves a nice coyote. It uh, would have been caught last night. We just had, uh, came through here yesterday. as a family there to just check things out. And, and yeah, nice catch. Uh, it's the second time we caught a coyote in this one spot. I'll go get over to it. I got it. All this stuff to crawl under and I don't think you can want to hear me grunt. Okay, we'll reset it and see how we make out. Well, I just come up to one of my snares here and has some disturbance. And it looks like it was a, a deer that went through and got caught, which is good that it got let go. Looks like it took off this way here. So that's good. It's gone. No issues. Did they, what they were supposed to do. I think I'll uh, maybe, well, remake this snare. It's not going to hurt nothing. A little bit of scent. Coyotes have been going down here a little bit. But uh, dodging the, the snare, it looks like. 
we'll uh, remake this. Well, we got uh, a ribbon here. This is a trail. This is a spot where we missed the wolf that one time. You can see some fur sticking up. It looks like we got ourselves a coyote. Again, this one would have been fresh from yesterday. Nice little pup, nicely colored. Fur looks good on the back. Nice and fresh. Came down this trail. So right now it's warmed up through the day and it's, what is it here? Minus one right now. It came down this trail here from the bush. So that moose is probably starting to stink a bit. I was going to take the sawzall and cut it open a bit more along the back and just see what uh, what we got. But uh, yeah, we'll remake this and uh, set it up right where it was. It's a good little spot. Come around the corner. Bingo, bango. All right, we'll catch you at the next set. So something, another thing that's interesting here is where this Caillou got caught. Must have peed there a little bit, but there's no way you could reach over here and peed, something peed there. It's probably another Caillou traveling with it. Another juvenile came by and checked things out. I think it came from back here and came and took a tinkle and left. So there you go. Might have another one or this other one that I caught just a little while ago was with that one. Could have been. We'll see what else we got. So there's Caillou tracks right here. And uh, my snare got bumped so I just fixed it up. Pulled tight so I'm not sure how it went through there but just kind of flatten out the tracks as I go here make it nice and inviting for next time hopefully we catch them on the next run through here we're at the bait uh, pit here on the farm and it looks like we've had a wolf come through here so I'm not sure where he snuck in I don't see when I go around I don't see his trails but I know he's been in here a couple times now So we'll let him keep coming in and eventually he'll kind of show us where he's coming in. So I'm going to drop off a bunch of the scraps there. Some coyotes and mangy coyotes and whatnot. And let the birds peck at it. Hopefully draw in some more coyotes or that wolf. I got to figure out where he's coming in because He's that black one. I know he's been around here for a while. But the birds got this all hammered down, so you can't really see too much for tracks. But I might just go for a walk here one day with some snares and do a hundred yard perimeter or fifty yard perimeter, depends what what it looks like on the inside, and just set everything that I can see. Around this bait here, this pile, there's 22 snares, power rounds. Sorry, 21, I picked one up today. Just because I wanted to move it, it was in a dead spot. Made one catch there earlier, and then after that, there was no other animals using that trail, so. All right, just looking around, looking for sign, and I'll be dumping some carcasses off. So looking at that, uh wolf track there that was at the bait site that's probably the same wolf that went through and knocked over that ram and uh came back to check it out so because it looks like roughly it's not fresh fresh tracks but it has uh, um frost in there similar to the other ones when i went by on my way out i took another look there and it looks pretty similar so i'm thinking he got in checked things out and then left so 
hopefully it comes back i topped up those carcasses there took the moose cut it open a little bit more flipped it over hopefully got some fresh um, spots there could tell the hide something was in there chewing on the hide not a bird because it was all wet so it had to be a coyote or something like that kind of soften up the hide and chewing it so i'm gonna drop off this deer that i picked up uh at this at the farm here and then i'm gonna cover it up with tarps and grab some pigs and go spread some wealth that way throughout the the trap line here oh, i don't know not very far through it here about a quarter way uh, took quite a bit of time to figure things out here and we'll be probably wrapping up in the dark it's gonna get dark the days are getting longer not to buy much though and yeah stay tuned i'm just coming into the bait here and looks like we got a coyote the birds got at it a little bit but lucky it's just on the the rump right there not too bad and uh there's the pinch point got a couple more snares in here one just on top of the hill and we'll see what's going on there and then there's two over this way but i drove past them and they were empty not much going on here see the birds were on the bait so they hadn't been here for a while so that's good i'll go check that other snare here and see what's going on still the same bait not too much going on here fairly quiet but i do see they started to make a new trail into there so i have to put a ram one day but uh again a nice tight area trapped this area for three years now and last year and the year before we did really good here and this year a little bit quiet i think i'm at seven or eight for this spot and the years before we were in the the teens but we'll go back and uh, reset this snare it's always been a good pinch point here through the years and I got one more snare on the way out that I'll have to take a look at and see if we have a, a catch there. And then we have one last bait for the day. Should have something there, knock on wood. Um, yeah, we'll remake this and we'll carry on. Okay, we got a ribbon there. And this was a game trail that we were using for quite a while. And they stopped. It looks like we got ourselves a catch here. It's been here a little bit. We got a little bit of a dust in here the other day. Just checking out the tracks. Might have had another one go through since this one was here. You can see just on top of the snow. So we'll remake this and set this back up. And yeah, we'll carry on. Number four for the day. Hopefully we get one more. This is that last uh, snare I said I had to check at this one bait. Just leaving the field. I like to set the snares there. Coyotes will come in off the field and then make a few trails here or there. We're a good 170 yards away from the bait. So... Nice, uh, nice looking coyote. We'll take him out, remake the set, and carry on. Alrighty. So I came in here, my last bait. Dropped off some deer faces. And some fleshings and some, a pig there. Let's go check some, uh, snares. See some tracks here. But don't go near the snares, I guess. There's a snare over there. And one over there, but I don't see anything in it. 
so it is what it is we'll check two more here i'll turn you guys off and i'll go take a walk turn you on if i have something we have a snare here it looks like it got bumped Caillou tracks going through so it was a miss I have to just fix her up a bit probably just brushed off to the side and then don't think it went over there probably ducked through the the bush over here so we missed one and it's the last bait so we had uh, uh four coyotes and um i'm gonna count the ones that we picked up yesterday blake and i because i didn't go check those today they were kind of part of this loop and i didn't bother to go out there because they're just there yesterday so so I'm going to add those together and uh, so now we have six coyotes. That's not a bad check. Weather is really mild today. I got lots of bait out. I uh, cleaned up the yard of coyote carcasses and stuff like that. Um, with these ones here, uh, we have another 15 coyotes to skin. And yeah, running out of room on those racks. So got to make a decision what I'm going to do. How I'm going to sell them. Maybe we'll do a little video about that and talk about the options these days. If you have any suggestions or anything like that, just leave me a comment and we'll talk about it. And also if there's other questions you have for anything that I do or you want to see other clips of something else or how I do this or how I do that or from your experience, share it with me. Leave comments, like comments. I reply to most of them. Um... I'm going to try and do a video here of setting a power ram up and setting it off. I kind of have one uh, ram in mind that uh, I'm going to do kind of, a, I set it up and once I make a catch there, then I'll run the whole process of setting the set, catching it, skinning it, fleshing it, and then having it ready for auction. And then maybe if it's done in time and I do end up selling to a private buyer we'll see what that one goes for i'll mark it once i catch it we'll put a ribbon on its foot and then track it all the way through let me know what you guys think about that if that's a good idea or not okay well looks bright out but it's actually just starting to get dark and i'm getting hungry and i'm gonna head home and i gotta wash the truck up get some of the blood and nasties out of it so it starts to smell a bit better and we'll catch you at the next set happy new year mm -hmm.